Everybody worshiping the Lord this morning. Oh, yeah. If you taste covered dish, I'm sure there's people down there taking their stuff down. I know that it's all come in. But, yeah. It's just awesome to be in the house of the Lord today. You know, we are his temple. Amen. Us. And thank you, God, that you've given us a place to come and, and where we can be. But, but we're the church, the people of God. And, just thankful that we can be in a place where we can worship him freely. Today we have Denise with us from originally from New Zealand, who travels all over the world, and she'll be speaking this morning. So, um, just sharing with us what God's been doing in her ministry, and uh, just want to have hearts that are open to whatever the Lord wants to do in our lives today. Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this time where we can come together. Lord, I pray that, that you would truly visit us. Holy Spirit, we invite you now to be a part of what we do. Lord, we're not here to perform. We're not here to have a program. We're here to encounter you, to hear from you, to be the, the people of God, the body of Christ. And Lord, I pray that, that we would all just put everything else out of our minds and, and take time to focus on you and worship you this morning, Lord. And then be ready to receive and hear your words and, and the leading of your spirit in our lives. <coughs> Father, we pray for everyone who may be on their way still. We pray for those who are away this, this weekend. Lord, we know that our families are off traveling. Just bless them and keep them. And Lord, we pray for those who can't be here that, that might be watching from home, Lord. We just ask you to, to bless them where they are if they're sick or needing a touch from you, Lord, you would visit them there in that place and, and just be present in their lives, God, as you're present in ours here and in every day that we walk before you, Lord. So we bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
don't know about you guys, but it, I just look at the news and every day I see wars and rumors of wars. You see earthquakes in various places, distress of nations. You know, it just tells us that the time is near. However, God is also doing awesome things in the world. He's not going to stop until the time is, is over. It's not going to, you know, hinder what His Holy Spirit can do in the nations and in the world. We just thank you for that today, God. And you're moving, Lord. You're moving and you're touching lives, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you that your gospel is still the best news, the only news out there, God that's worth paying attention to. Lord, that you gave your life for us on, on Calvary, that you died on the cross to pay for us, Lord, that we could become the righteousness of God in Christ. And just thank you for that this morning, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. God, you fought for Israel, you fight for us. And Lord, our enemies may not seem like they're around us as an army, but there is an army of, of evil that we don't see, that you fight you fight and our, our praises are filled with your presence Lord we thank you for that God fill this place today fill our hearts today Jesus as we long for more of you Lord I pray that everyone here today God we just want more of you as we realize what you've done for us God Lord that we would want more of you we want to know you serve you Jesus
is the superior. We live the holy anthem. We want to touch you. We lift our voices higher and higher and higher to you. We lift our holy hands up. We want to touch you, Jesus. We lift our voices higher and higher and higher to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, God. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We glorify you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We worship you.
things have passed away. Your love has stayed the same. Your constant grace remains a cornerstone. Things that we thought were dead, breathing in life again. You called your soul.
Is just saying we need to learn to come yeah. into the secret place. Learn to come into the place of shelter and rest. Learn to abide in my presence. Seek it. Take time to know me. Take time to know my word. Take time to appreciate my presence in your life. For it will become a shelter to you in the days to come. It will become a place of refuge when things are darker and more difficult around you. You will learn to run into this place of refuge. To run into a place where I am exalted. And where you can see clearly the things that I want you to see and know the things that I want you to know. And be prepared for those things that are coming. Amen. And I believe God's telling us to learn to be in his presence. Yes. He puts a firewall around us with his angels to protect us. Hallelujah. Thank you. Just, just so you guys know, we're, we're going to take our normal offering today, um, and then we'll put a plate in the back for Denise Reed for Four Corners Ministries. That if you wanted to give anything after afterwards today, you can you can write a check to Four Corners afterwards. So the first is just our regular offerings.
as we offer you things this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Any praise the Lord this morning? I praise the Lord that Denise made it here safe and safe. Thank you. How many miles did you travel to get here? <laughs> Just from Allentown. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah nothing. And then but from, from Indiana. Yeah. 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 How's Kevin? Same. No praise the Lord? Ah, uh, yes. I feel chains breaking. I feel healing. And I just want to thank everyone for their prayers. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I have a friend with me here today, Jeff. Please raise your hand. That's my brother Jeff there. I've known him for a couple of years now. Glad to have him out this morning. So, um, it says, uh, so we will exalt him, we will worship him for ever. Yeah, not just today, forever and ever. Um, if you're born again, right? If you're born again, then heaven's your home and you're just kind of a pilgrim and a wanderer here on earth. Um, and it's, it's a trial place where God gives us or allows, however, you know, your theology is about that. Um, God gives or allows tribulation in our life. Jesus said, in this world you shall have tribulation. But don't worry. I've overcome the world. Amen. Right? That's what he's saying. So we have to remember that. Miguel, what? Can you pray for Dick Ron when we have friends that live, not live, they live in Florida from there, and they're, they're telling us that they're telling us they're stuff shut down. They're shutting churches down? That's what she told us. In Nicaragua. In Nicaragua. The guy took over as. We're going to see more of that. Yeah, we're going to see more of that as the, as the time draw, draws closer, right? That's right. God's going to be made more powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we pray not only for Nicaragua, although we do pray for Nicaragua. Specifically, we pray for Myanmar, where Denise is ministering. We pray for New Zealand. We pray for Australia. We pray for all the world. Amen. Wherever we have our hearts, wherever you have your people, Lord. Jesus. The Bible says that in the end times, um, many, many will come, but many more won't. So you have people in every country and every place, maybe only one, but you have somebody there, Lord God. And so we pray for those countries where believers are persecuted, where it's hard to be a believer. It's even hard to be a believer in the United States anymore. It's so sad. But God, we know you're there. We know you've chosen a people for yourself. Father, we know you've chosen a bride for your son, and we're part of that bride. So we look forward, God, to seeing you, to being part of your ministry. Lord, send us out to talk to people, to share with people so that many will know, many will believe, and be saved, Lord God. And we thank you now, Lord God, that we have an opportunity to give to this church so that your word can go out. Amen. That it doesn't just end here in this church, but as we go out, the word goes out. So cause us, Lord, to share what we have with others so many might come to know you as Savior. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Denise, do you want to watch? Do you want to publish? Yeah, I'd have to work. 